Let's get to today's headlines. BYU football's Ryan Rico, Max Tooley, A.J. Bong Pachung, Jackson Cravens, Nasi Mahe, and Paul Miley all participated Saturday at the very first Big 12 Pro Media Day or Pro Days in Frisco, Texas. I heard it was a great success. The opening weekend of the UFL and Kainakua always making plays. The former Cougar 11 tackles a sack, two tackles for loss for the Michigan Panthers. Hey, not bad, not bad. Uh, good stuff with Michigan this year in football. Yeah. Number seven, men's volleyball swept Concordia in back-to-back -back nights to improve to 15 to seven overall in the season, six and four in the MPSF. Third place, Saturday night, emotional for the seniors who led the way. Pota Brown, 13 kills. Gavin Julian, five blocks. John Stanley had six kills as BYU wrapped up its home schedule. They're at USC this week. Shout out to Jared Brady. I saw him get an yeah. ace on your broadcast. Then he got engaged. So it was a great weekend. You, you for the coached Brady's. him and, and Jackson Fife and, and Cooper Jarman in Little League? Just Jared, not the just other two. Jared, gotcha. Uh, and, and everything I, I coached info. him, fortunately, he got out. <laughs> he did just the opposite <laughs> and turned into a great athlete. Cool. Uh, after dropping uh, game one of Friday's doubleheader over Gail Miller Field against Houston, BYU softball bounced back in a huge way in oh, a yeah. late night game that went forever. Uh, ninth inning, they're down. Hunter Avas at the plate. Jason Shepard's on the call. Here it is. 1 1 pitch, and that ball crushed over the head, and it's a grand slam! Walk off home run for Hunter Alba! The BYU Cougars win this game in walk off grand slam fashion. Listen to the score 17 to 15. BYU beats Houston. They take the series uh, 2 to 1, their first series win. Uh, in the Big 12. They're 20 and 13, 4 and 8 in the conference. Good news is all the conference teams go to the tournament. Just be hot that unlike week. Baseball. Hit the ball around, unlike baseball. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and softball's got a shot. Speaking of baseball, they dropped the final two games of the series to Kansas on Friday, 4 3, and then 8 5. Dave McCann on the call. Riker Herdsman led the Cougars, going 3 for 5 with three runs over those two games. Cougars now 11 and 14, 4 and 8 in Big 12 play. Kansas was just better in all three games. Mm. It was a tough one. Got him in basketball. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Men too. <laughs> Men's golf, sixth place of the Goodwin Invitational. After shooting eight over par, Cougars led by top 25 finishers from both Peter Kim and Keanu Aquina. Track and field wrapped up a busy weekend, competing at three different meets across the country. Riley Chamberlain won the 1500 at the Stanford Invitational. Sierra Alfin took second in the high jump at the Texas Relays. And three throwers won events at the UVU Invitational. Chase Clement won the javelin. Danny Bryant won the shot put. Gretchen Hoekstra won the women's distance. By the way, the Kansas media that was here, they haven't gotten over that basketball game back there in Lawrence. <laughs> nope. Still very fresh. <laughs> BYU men's swim finished uh, competing at the NCAA Nationals with Brad Prolo competing in the 200 fly. Jordan Tiffany in the 100 free. Tiffany Diego, Camacho Salgado, Joshua Reed, and Luigi Rivera, Riva taking 24th in the 400 free relay. Women's tennis beat TCU 4-3 Saturday. Cougars are 14-4 overall, 6-3 in the Big 12. Men's tennis lost at home to number 27 Baylor 4-2. The Cougars 11-7, 0-4 in the Big 12. Hey, congrats to BYU Rugby. They defeated Utah over the weekend 72-14. You're what's a rugby up. expert. That's a big win. That's a huge win. Always good to beat uh, Utah and my old roommate Steve St. Pierre's head coach doing work. One of his assistants, also my old roommate, Derek Smith. Shout out to the boys. Nice job, guys. They were great roommates. They're even better coaches. There you go. <laughs>